Hi everyone. I've been seeing this dream catcher on Pinterest for a while now and I've been dying to try to make it myself. So this is how I did it. What I'm doing here is removing the hardware that was attached to the wooden hoop. What I do is I take my pliers and I gently pry it back, um, trying to pop the rivets off without splitting the wood. Then what I did was I took my stapler and I just put a couple of staples in it to hold it together until I get my hot glue ready. Then what I did was I found some rope that I liked um, and I put a little dab of hot glue, set the rope in place, held it down for a few seconds until it held and then I just started wrapping it through the hoop round and around and around wrapping it as tight as I could without leaving any spaces in between. Then I found a bunch of these hand crocheted doilies on eBay, so I bought a whole bunch of them. What you do pretty much is you take it, put it inside the hoop, figure out where you want it to go, then take some string with a needle and start threading it around, sewing it to the frame, um, just tacking it on pretty much at certain points. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Once you have them all sewn together, you're gonna to lay them out in the pattern that you wanna create on the wall and get some string or rope and tie them together. Okay, so what I did was I got some wall hooks. I got them at Marshall's. They were a three pack for $7.99. I attached them to the wall and I found a nice straight branch, put it up on the wall hooks, and then I attached ropes to the top of my dream catcher configuration and just hung it up. Now what I need to do is secure the hoops better because um, I used string and as you can see some of them broke apart. So I'm going to restring them together so they more secure. Okay so next you're going to go to the store like Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabric and pick up some fabric. I got this, it's really flowy. I got some lace, I got some of this trim stuff, and I got these little pom-pom balls. They come on a string sold by the yard. And then what I do is I cut them into strips and then I'm gonna attach them to the bottom hoops of the dream catcher. So what I do was I take this and I fold it in half and then I stick it through the loop. So the loop is out like this. And then I take the slack and pull it through the loop. And then I pull down on it like that. And you pull really tight. It looks like that. And this is the final project. Um, as you can see, I attached all the different materials that I bought, um, just pretty much staggered them and secured everything and hung it up. And I think it looks great.